No sponsor has ever influenced us about anything. Uh, we, our biggest sponsor was Ford, and we're the ones that told the story of how the Pinto had an unsafe fuel tank. Ford did not appear on that broadcast, but they did the next week. Uh, no, sponsors do not influence what you say. I keep hearing how now that NBC is owned by GE, it's they they can't cover certain stories. I don't believe that. I think that's not true. I don't think ABC is doing anything different. ABC news because they're now owned by Disney. Um, the influence of, uh, the only bad influence ever on me ever was the man I worked for, Larry Tisch, because he owned a cigarette company. He didn't want to let us put a story on the air. Well, that was complicated. When we were prohibited from doing the Brown and Williamson story, which now turns out to be all true, they were worried about two things. Larry Tisch owned a owned uh, Lorelei, and they were about to be sold to Westinghouse, and they didn't want any lawsuits to interfere with it at the time. It was a shameful chapter when they kept us from, but luckily the Wall Street Journal barged in, did the story, and then CBS cold feet got warmer and they decided to let us do it. Turned out everything we said was right, and Jeffrey Wygant, the, uh, the top scientist at uh, Brian Williamson was absolutely on the money on everything he told us. But uh, it wasn't a sponsor that almost sank us. It was our own company.